We're all looking ahead to that big game, whether you're a fan of the San Francisco 49ers or the Kansas City Chiefs, or if you're just watching the halftime show. Anticipation for Sunday is building up. Our Dylan Valencia joins us live inside Sullivan's Foods to give us some advice if you're planning to go out for the game or even host one at home. Good morning, Dylan. Manny, good morning. Well, the weekend is finally here, Super Bowl weekend, and I am shocked at how fast it came. But again, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, working but also buying some groceries because this weekend, this same grocery store will be packed with a lot of people to buy something like this, your football cake, and all sorts of snacks. Not only that, but Manny, like you just mentioned, even the bars and restaurants are going to be packed. I spoke to several owners and managers of these locations to learn more about how they're preparing and when is the best time you should come out. It's just crazy right up until when the game starts. I think it just gets people, it, it gives people something to look forward to. And Super Bowl weekend is finally here, bringing families and friends together for the big game. Paul has worked in grocery for 11 years, seeing crowds hit the stores each year. There's a good amount of people, more than I would have expected with the teams that are in, because uh, a lot of times if it's, you know, Bears or Packers or some, kind of the local teams that are really popular, it tends to be busier. From chicken to Italian beef and steak, deals can help your wallet ahead of the big game. It seems like prices are starting to get a lot better. I think it's starting to move in that direction, at least from what I've seen. And meat isn't the only thing, but there are steals and deals when it comes to the snack aisle, beers, and even the bakery. In every department, we have something special going on. We have our jumbo chocolate chip cookies for $11.99, and then we also have our cakes for $7.99. Keep in mind, it's better to buy now instead of showing up on game day. Nonetheless, the deals will be waiting. So some people like to wait for the last minute, but I have been seeing people gathering stuff just because they're afraid that we may run out, so they want to make sure they, they have everything they need. And if you're not hosting the big game at your place, restaurants and bars are ready to cheer on your favorite team with you. I think it just gets people, it, it gives people something to look forward to and it gets people out spending money, you know, if they're having parties at home or if they're having parties at the bar, they're, you know, they're buying food, they're buying some beer and, you know, hanging out with their friends and having a good time. And the party starts with the wings, with Oscars buying much more to meet the demand. Almost double. I mean, we usually probably go through... 250 to 300 pounds on a normal Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, and then this weekend uh, we, we got 500 pounds for the weekend at each bar. Oscars, open for more than two decades, has had its fair share of Super Bowl Sundays. And this weekend, they are prepared, offering 95 cent wings. Obviously, any business is going to help the economy, you know? So the more people we have, everything gets better. So whether you're filling the shopping cart or joining friends at a restaurant, deals are across the board, bringing business to the local economy while you enjoy the big game. I'm getting hungry thinking about all this food, but again, people will be crowding the stores. I'm here trying to beat the rush to get some of these deals, and it's not just Sullivan. Several grocery stores and those bars are trying to get people in, and again, it all goes back to our local economy. So I have some shopping to get back to, but we'll have more details on our website at WREX.com. For now, Manny, back over to you.